So eventually, Malupa's business declined, mm -hmm. and uh, ultimately the company closed, right? February 19, 1986. <laughs> and you were among the very last to leave. I was the last, and I believed in those products. I believed in company. And even my wife told me a year before, why don't you write a resume? I said, for what? And I said, no, I'm a believer of this thing. I believe in this product, even though I knew that they are losing money. But I said, I'm not going to give up my work because of some other issue there. I th so I just stayed until last minute, really. Last minute, when they, even at that time, I was trying to get approval from Canadian government for nine different products, for PKU and amino acid mixes and whatnot in Ottawa. And they called me up, actually, from Connecticut, president of company. He says, we need you right away here. I said, I'm not coming right now because I am doing approval process with Health and Welfare Canada. I said, so I'm not going to come. They said, this is more important. But I, I said, what is more important? Tell me, then I will think about it. So you see, I had to request him. I said, you sent me here, and now you want me back? So no. So I actually took me day and a half to, to get back from Ottawa. I did not. I refused that. Then as soon as I came, of course, they gave me the news that we are going to shut down the operation here. So you have no job. <laughs> and that was uh, uh, February 19, 1986, exact day when I remember that. So then I was, uh, I called up my wife, of course, you see, I said, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honesty. I said, well, it's beyond my control, you see. I did everything humanly possible. And that's all one has to do, really. Do everything possible within your power. Then you don't have to get angry about it. Sure, we, we feel sad about it. No, it's beyond your control.